Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I'm Ashley or Lay Spirit Designs, or you might know me as Spooky Stickers. So if you weren't sure, I also, aside from doing Etsy and my shop and my Patreon and my YouTube and all kinds of social media and illustrating, I run a service called Spooky Stickers where I help out other artists and small businesses make stickers of their own work. And I don't have like a minimum order quantity or anything like that. So if you're interested, I can always help you out. But ever since really talking about that service in the last like couple of months, the number one question I get asked is about the hollow film that I use for my sparkly stickers. So today I thought I would show you guys everything that I know, everything that I do to make my sparkly stickers. And that includes showing you where exactly I get my roll of sparkle film from, how I apply it, how I cut it using a Silhouette Cameo 3, and everything else that I know all in between that. So let's get into it. Okay, so step one is literally the most asked question I get, which is where do you buy the hollow film from? And I've not made this a secret, like I try and tell people where I get them from. And the role that I have now is from Alibaba. Okay, so once you're on alibaba.com, you can go ahead and search for basically any variation of this. Um, these are my recent searches, obviously, because the last time I ordered from here was the role that I have. So the keyword really is uh, holographic cold lamination because the film itself is almost like a giant sticker. So you don't need to put it through a laminator to apply it. Um, it you just stick it on and you smooth it down and you're good to go. So as long as you're looking for that, and I use the star pattern, so that was why that's a main keyword for me. There are tons of other patterns out there, like literally tons of them. But this is my favorite one. This is the one that my customers seem to like. And maybe eventually I will offer more, like the cracked glass or the polka dots. But for now, we're just doing the star. So you're going to start seeing, you know, listings like this. And keep in mind that Alibaba is kind of like, kind of like eBay meets Amazon, where you're basically seeing listings from suppliers and manufacturers for various things. Um, this is where a lot of people go to find their enamel pin manufacturers and like eat a bag manufacturers. You name it, it's probably on Alibaba. So for my specific needs, I bought a roll, uh, but in the past I used to buy individual sheets. Now, I've found that that's not very cost effective for me anymore and that it's actually cheaper for me to buy an entire roll than it was for me to buy 200 um, A4 sheets. A4? We're just going to say letter-sized sheets. This is more in line with what I'm looking for. And actually, I think this was my manufacturer. I think it is. So the roll that I got was the $58 roll. So we're just going to go ahead and click into this. So they've got video so you can see how it looks. There's the star pattern. Here's some of the other patterns that they have. And yeah, so I ended up buying this one. So the roll that I have is 25 inches by 50 meters. And when I did the, well, I can't say I, cause I didn't do the math. When my best friend did the math for me, um, we, we figured out that this roll when trimmed down to letter sized sheets will yield a little more than 500 sheets. So this is a very comparable price. Unfortunately, the shipping is where it gets you. I paid about this for the roll, but still not even joking. This is still cheaper than what I paid for sheets for like 100 to 200 sheets. So very much worth it. But if you can't justify a giant roll, there are definitely places um, like Etsy that you can find the the sheets individually so as long as you're searching for holographic cold lamination film you will find what you're looking for might take a little bit of digging and feel free you can always reach out to the suppliers i always end up contacting them and you can just like ask them about the product and they'll get back to you so here's my conversation with the last guy so Yep, you order it, and typically when it's this expensive, it's coming um, air freight. Air freight? I think that's the word. It's coming by air, so I had it within a week, and I was very pleased with that. So that's where I got my film. 
and now I'll show you the roll. Okay, so it's not professional by any means because this is the first time I'm using a roll, but this is my, cut I'm, my cutting setup so far. Um, I have a large kind of old guillotine chop. I have a slice brand rotary cutter, and of course the roll itself. Because the roll itself is twice the size that I need and I need to trim it down to use the way I use it, I've taped my ruler onto this table and I've marked the area where I need the width of the page to be. So how I do it is I pull it to where I need it to be, roughly. It doesn't have to be exact because I'm going to trim it later. And right in there where that mark is, I just roll right through. Now there's all kinds of rotary tools that you can use to cut this, but I wanted this one in particular because it goes through a mechanism instead of you have to roll it onto the surface. And I've used scissors in the past and it just, it's so sticky, it just gums them up. So this has been an absolute champ and has already cut down like half of this roll. This isn't even a full roll. So now that I have this strip, which is roughly eight and a half inches wide, I'm gonna trim it down in 11 inch segments. And if I'm being completely honest, it's more like 10 and three quarters because I don't want it to be the exact full size of a page. So there's one sheet. And two sheets. And because of the width of this, there's a little bit left over and I, personally don't use these, but if you are an artist who does small prints or buttons and stuff like that, this is definitely something you can still use. I myself have been selling my scraps because there are people out there who could use them. So one strip from this roll gives me two full sheets and I still go through and kind of measure and make sure it's the right size that I need. And I'll trim it down to about eight and a quarter. Then I have even more strips and scraps for people. Now that we have our paper, let me show you how I apply it. Okay, so if you are using the same film that I'm using, you're going to notice that it feels really thick and that's because of the backing. So I used to use a brand called Spic Global for my hollow film and I ended up changing away from that because the film itself was really thick, it was kind of yellowish, and the sparkles were not as bright as this one is. Like even now, this one looks dull because of the lighting, but it's <laughs> really actually not. So this film itself is actually extremely thin. And when I first started using it, I hated it because of how thin it was and it made it really hard to work with. So even before when I was working with this film, I used to snip the corners off where the registration marks would be because in the past, especially using the Spit Global ones, I noticed that it wouldn't read on my Silhouette machine. So this method that I'm about to show you might not work depending on the type of lamination you have, but it works for this particular one that I showed you that I bought from Alibaba. So I don't snip the corners anymore. And I'm gonna go ahead, this is just a regular laminator. I got it with the intention to use it for foiling stickers and it's become my uh, hollow laminator, so just switch it on. And I go ahead and I keep it at the three setting because I've learned that the five, it just kind of makes it more curly and unnecessarily hot. Okay, so when the laminator is ready, it's gonna light up, at least mine does, and it'll let you know when it's ready. And this is the fun part. I'm gonna do it this way. So this is just a sticker sheet from my December sticker club that I haven't cut yet. And I'm gonna peel a little bit of this off. This is, if you're doing this for the very first time, it's gonna be a trial and error because I promise you this stuff is not easy to work with. So I'm just gonna peel this corner just a little bit. to about right there. Again, it's very sticky, really not easy to work with. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it down 
right over the registration marks, right along the top. It's okay if it wrinkles a little bit, it's gonna happen. And I just smooth it down an inch or two just to get it started. And then you just feed it right in. And I like to hold this part taut just to kind of help it go in smooth because the first time I did this, just testing it out, I didn't hold it at all. I let it do its own thing and it wrinkled to hell. So this has been a pretty proven method for me. And then if this part catches on the paper, I just kind of help it. About right there, I let it go. And that's it. And here's your laminated stickers. It can sometimes wrinkle up here. Again, I, I'm still new to this method and it still happens to me. But, and it, it will curl. <laughs> I haven't figured out what to do to make it not curl, but you know, it, it, it kind of curls. So anyway, let's get to the cutting part. If you're using an older cutting mat like me, you might need to tape down some of the sides of the paper so that it doesn't catch when it goes through the machine because I've definitely had some where it's not sticky enough on the cutting mat and it comes up while the machine is running it through and it bends the stickers and that's not good. So I found that this works out for me. I've seen a lot of other people tape down their pages to very not sticky cutting mats. And again, I'm using a Silhouette Cameo 3. I The only other machine I've used in the past is a Silhouette Portrait. And this light, this clip light is from Amazon. I've talked about it in previous studio vlogs. Okay, so here we're in Silhouette Studio and if you're familiar with this, you might notice that I'm running on a really older version because I honestly can't be bothered to update it. So, and I'm not going to go into like how I set up my sticker files or anything. I'll save that for another video. Um, but I will say that because this is a sticker sheet and it has die cut and kiss cut elements, I have the different cuts in different colors. And that way over here, I can determine which color is going to be what type of cut. So I mentioned this just a little bit ago, but the sticker paper I use all comes from online labels. And for the sparkly holographic film stickers in particular, I use the matte paper, not like specialty matte or premium matte or anything like that. It's literally just the most basic matte sticker paper. And I believe it's one that works with both inkjet and laser. And if it matters, I have a local printer that I do my sticker prints through and that's a laser printer. So the online labels paper is kind of thin. So I've had to, especially now that I'm using that plus this new thin hollow, I've had to kind of play around with what settings to use. But these are my hollow die cut settings. And I have, I've done specific settings and then I have it saved as its own thing. And then the red is the hollow kiss cut. And these are my settings for that. And we're actually gonna test this day because like I mentioned, the kiss cut has been kind of eluding me at the moment. So we're gonna see if this one works and if not, we'll change it. So let's go ahead and send this off. Okay, so as you saw, that read the registration marks with no problem, even though the hollow film was right over the top of them. And there wasn't anything off center or miscut that I could tell. It passed my quality check. So 
As soon as I get this sticker sheet peeled off, we're gonna see if the kiss cut settings worked out. And look at that, a perfect peel. And that's the end of the video. I hope this was really helpful for you guys, but if you are not ready to invest in the materials or the machinery to make these stickers yourself, please let me know. I obviously can help you out. If you're interested in placing an order with Spooky Stickers, you can send me an email at orderspookystickers at gmail.com and I will get back to you within 24 hours and we can get started on your order. If you made it to the end of the video, go ahead and leave a ghost emoji down in the comments below for Spooky Stickers and for Lay Spirit Designs. And yeah, if you liked this content, if you found it helpful in any way, go ahead and click subscribe because I am on the road to a thousand subscribers. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week in a studio vlog. Bye.